Well, Merry Christmas and welcome back to the Walden Church YouTube page. This is where we upload our sermons that we give every Sunday and where we upload devotionals that we do throughout the week. Uh, this month in December, we decided that we would do a devotional every single day through December from now leading all the way up till Christmas and we're less than a week away from December 25th. And so uh, we're super excited about that. But for today's lesson, we are still examining different ornaments from our chrismon tree. The chrismon tree is a tree that contains symbols of Jesus's godhood, his deity. Uh, they represent different aspects of the Christmas story and they teach us about Jesus. Today, we're gonna look at the ornament that is shaped like a rose. Now, the rose has symbolic meanings in many religions, including Christianity and Catholicism. Now, for Catholics, the rose serves as a symbol of the rosary, which Catholics use during prayer, and also to commemorate several important events in Jesus' life. In Christianity, there's typically five petals to the rose, and they symbolize all five of the wounds that Christ took at the crucifixion. The color of the rose also has some symbolic meaning as well. Typically, a white rose represents Jesus' purity, and a red rose represents his blood. While a white and red rose, when placed together in arrangements, they can represent the crucifixion and the resurrection. Now, in our church, we don't decorate with roses, but rather with poinsettias. And the poinsettia was first associated with Christmas in southern Mexico in the 1600s, when Franciscan priests used the colorful leaves and bracts to adorn extravagant nativity scenes. Years later, the nation's first ambassador to Mexico introduced poinsettias to the United States around 1827. As the plant grew in popularity, it was eventually named after Poinsett, who had a long and honored career as a congressman and a founder of the Smithsonian Institution. Also, at Christmas time, we decorate with holly, which is where Christmas colors of red and green first originally came from. Isaiah chapter 35, verses 1 and 2 say, It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. I love that passage because it reminds me of what is seen in our homes and churches. We want to make sure that we have decorations up. Sometimes we have them inside and outside. And much of what we celebrate is by the things that we can see. But our Isaiah passage reminds us that these colors and these flowers, these plants, they're all helpful reminders of the thing they represent. Let's not just see the beauty of their existence, but also the glory and the majesty of what they represent. Have a Merry Christmas.